Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and today we will learn this in graphic KPI chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these three chart uh, with the help of this table and these all the three chart is connected with this table. If I will change service label, then you can see uh, the movement in this ball according to this value. So okay friends, so it can be used in your dashboard, in your client report or in your business presentations. Okay, and it can be used in KPI chart. So I will use the same data to creating this. I'm going to be adding a new worksheet here and just paste it here like that. Now I will select first of all service label then I go to the insert and in insert I'll go to the charts in chart I will go to this one which is insert scatter or bubble chart and here in bubble charts I'll take this one which is 3d bubble okay friend now what I will do, I'll double click on this axis or right click on this axis, go to the format axis. So first of all, I'll change the value of the axis minimum. I'll take minus 0 0.1, which is minus 10%. And the maximum value I'll take 1.1, .1, which is 110%. And measure I'll ta take uh, default as 0 0.1, which is 10%. So I'll tell you why I have taken the value from minus. Let me resize the chart first. Like that. So friend, uh, I have taken this in minus because if my value will be 100 and if I will take, uh, let's say maximum as 100 only, then you can see the half of the wall. That is the region I have taken 1.1 similarly in downside if I will take 0 then you can see the complete wall because of this minus 10 if I will take it only 0 then you will see the half wall so that's the region I'm taking minus 0.1 okay so uh, now I'll remove all the component like axis, chart title and grid lines from the chart. So now first of all I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines and I'll select this chart and go to the format and I'll take shape fill as no fill, shape outline no outline okay so you can see a ball here so now uh, what I will do I'll go to the insert and I will insert this shape so to creating this shape I'll go to the insert in insert I'll go to the uh, shapes and here I'll go to the rectangles and I'll select this one which is rounded rectangle and just drag this rectangle here like that and now I'll pick this yellow point and move towards the right side you can see the corner so corner has been removed now okay now I'll keep this here so first of all default I'll take service level 0 and then I will keep it here now what I will do, I will go to the right click on this uh, shape, go to the format shape and in fill option, I will give some transparency here so that I can see this ball behind this shape and I will adjust it accordingly. So when it is on zero, it should be on the bottom side. Now I will give it 100. And you can see it is on upside otherwise you can adjust it okay yes. 
now i'll fill the v well i can give it from here effect also or you can give it from format also so i'll select the save first go to the format uh, save effects and uh, then i'll go to the v well and here i'll select this one which is soft round okay friends this thing we can do from this uh, window also we have to go to, to the effects then 3d format and for for top bevel we can select this one okay so here you can see the height is uh, 4 pt so i will change it to 10 now i'll go to the fill end line option so here uh, in the starting i have given some transparency so i'll remove uh, the transparency or i'll take the transparency as zero then you can see this shape okay so now we'll keep the same color so first color i'll give uh, go to the shape fill and i'll take this one now right click and click on send to back now i will select this wall and i'll go to the format in format i'll go to the save fill and i will fill it as black and i will remove the shape outline also so i'll select the shape outline and i'll select no outline so now you can see a chart is created now it's working now i'll select the uh, this bubble or ball and right click and go to the format data series sorry uh, add data level and select the data level right click and go to the format data levels and here i will select label position as center and then i'll give the uh, color from home the label text fill as white and make it bold now I'll put the uh, service level 100 so you can see the percentage is uh, below the 100 so now I'll select the label even double click on this now you can see the points are available here and I will resize it now you can see the 100 percent is on the center of this wall now we can change whatever number you want to give so now i'll select this chart from here and press ctrl a so now chart and the shape has been selected together right click and make it group so that whenever you want to move the chart from here to there you can do it now i'll copy this chart and paste it here i'll make one more copy and i'll keep it here now simple i'll select the chart and right click go to the uh, select data and click on edit so here in place of series name i'll select productivity this time and the series y values i'll select this h2 let me remove first then select s2 okay okay similarly for this I'll select the chart, right click, select data, edit series and then series name I'll take sales conversion and the series value I'll take S3. So as you are seeing uh, the chart, this uh, bubble color has been changed to default. So now again uh, we have to give the color to this bubble. So I'll go to select this double click on this bubble. And go to the format and save fill as black which we have already taken save outline no outline similarly double click on this bubble black no outline now i right click on the first bubble and go to the add data level and right click and go to the format data level again we'll give the label position center and the color from home text fill white and make it bold similarly for this right click add data level select this uh, data level 
the same step which I have followed here like uh, font color of this uh, labels label position and on the 100% I have changed the uh, label size also so now uh, we just need to give the color to this uh, shape will use yellow and the blue one or you can take any other color so now what i will do i'll select the uh, chart first then right click and i'll click on send to back then if you will click on this shape you will be able to select it now i'll i can keep a color from the fill option so i would like to keep this color and similarly for this uh, right click sorry select the chart first from here right click and send to back now i'll select this shape and i'll give this let's say yellow color like that now i'll select this shape right click and i'll click on send to back similarly from here right click and send to back so your chart is ready and you can select all the chart together go to the format align it middle and distribute it horizontally okay friend so that's how you can create this chart i hope you have enjoyed this video i will upload this excel file to my google drive and i'll give the link in video's description box please download it from there thank you so much for the watching